I brew beer. What do I need a food sealer for? Hi, I'm Bradley with 2B Brewing and today we're gonna go over this food sealer. I will admit this is a was a Christmas gift for me that I had asked for. What do you need a food sealer for? Well, if you think about it, when you are brewing beer, you have hops. And there have been instances where I have not used all of the bag of hops. Right now, I've been getting by by squeezing the air out of the hop bag as much as I can, putting it into a Ziploc bag, and then putting it into the fridge. Best would be to put it into the freezer. But there's no guarantee I'm getting all the air out. With a vacuum food sealer, I can use that to actually get all the air out. Some food sealers will allow you to actually like reseal the hop bag. I don't know if this one will or won't. We'll have to test it out once I get a hop bag available. Otherwise, what we can do is we can make pockets. So you take your strip of food sealer bag and you basically like seal it in half and then seal up to make compartments. And then what you can do is you can cut below the half seal. So now you got these little pockets you can use to seal individual bags. I've been looking forward to this um, just so that way I don't have to worry about hops spoiling. There are additional bags on the bottom. Two different sizes. So here it is. This uh, looks pretty neat. Uh, remember, do not remove colored tape. So there's tape on here, do not remove that. Okay, uh, where do the instructions go? There they are. <clears throat> All right. Deluxe vacuum sealer. All right, so we've got a vacuum seal and cancel button, which is up here. We've got a canister. A vacuum sealing canister is through a hose, canister not included. Canister, hmm, oh, that's cool. You can vacuum seal through a hose. Where's, I don't know where the port is. I don't see it offhand, but that's kind of cool. So the roll would go in there, okay. You have storage on here and then you have, um, Sealing time, uh, three settings to choose the best zip drag bag sealing time. Dry setting for sealing bags without moisture. Moist setting for sealing wet bags or foods with little moisture. Double sealing for wet boot bags with high moisture. Default is normal. And then pressure is how much it sucks the air out. There's a soft setting and a normal setting default is normal and there's a progress bar there's a manual seal function to seal an open end of a bag without vacuum oh that's very cool that's a very neat idea when the there's a marinade function oh uses the canister and tube and it'll vacuum in stages and infuse juices into the items to be marinated mm. fortunately the uh Canisters are not included. And you can make a bag with the roll. So, I am looking forward to this, to expanding and saving uh, my brewery details. So, we will show how this works next time I have something to seal. Another thing that this is great for sealing is um, specialty malts. So a lot of times we use Pilsner, two row, six row, Munich, um, or Vienna malts as our base malts. But then when you start getting into other malts, you don't use as much. 
So being able to like pre-partition malts out into say a quarter pound or half pound bags or even a pound bag um, can be huge in your storage. So that's another great option that this is can be used for. So once I have something to seal, we'll check it out. Until then, hit that thumbs up button if you like this. Hit that subscribe button to be notified of the next video, especially when I use this fancy machine. Till then, I'm Bradley. We'll see you next time.